Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation, Winning Instagram, Five Moves to Master Your A-Game. Love the A-Game, okay? I want to give a quick shout out to my team at Branded Strategic for helping to promote this webinar, and also my friends at Driscoll Foods, which may be how you found out about this to begin with, so thank you, okay? We're going to be on here for about 30, 35 minutes, give or take how many questions we have, and before this webinar ends, ends I promise you, okay, you will learn how to optimize your Instagram efforts so that you can easily grow a local following and generate more orders, okay? I promise you at the end a couple of things, okay? Number one, we will have a full Q&A at the end and I'll be super excited to answer every single question that I possibly can. At, if at any point you have a question, pop it into the Q&A. Please don't put it in the chat. It's hard for me to monitor both places. But if you have a question at any point in the webinar, I don't want you to forget it. So pop that into the Q&A and at the end. Now, here's the other thing. If you stay around to the end, I have a special gift for you. And it's free and it's going to help you finish this year strong. So stay till the end for Q&A. Stay till the end for that special gift. Don't pull out of here, Okay. By the end of this presentation, you will have gained three, one, two, three really important things. Number one, you're going to learn how to grow your local following, okay? You're going to learn how to create more loyal guests, and you're going to learn how to turn your social media into an ordering hotline. Doesn't that sound good? That sounds really good, right? Okay. Hi. 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 My name is Rev Ciancio. If you don't know me, I'm a hospitality marketing consultant. I help restaurants to raise awareness uh, and retain customers and acquire them too, all through digital marketing, social media, and the use of incredible software. Uh, I like to say that my personal magic wand is pizza, although those are Italian hot dogs from Jimmy Buffs in uh, South Orange. Uh, or sorry, West Orange, New Jersey. They're amazing. Uh, anyways, I have more than 20 years experience in branding, digital marketing, hospitality, and I've worked with no joke, hundreds of restaurants from large multi-unit uh, international franchises to mom and pop shops to help them attract and retain customers. Now, a lot of people know me as a restaurant and hospitality marketing influencer, uh, and that's because I run a couple of Instagram accounts of more than 650,000 total followers. Okay. I also used to own a bar in New York City, so I know exactly how hard it is to market and brand a location-based business. Today, we are here to talk about how to prioritize, sorry, we're here to talk about how to optimize your Instagram efforts so that you can easily grow a local loyal following and generate more orders. Okay. I also host... The I also host a podcast with inspirational thought leader and mindset coach, John Shaw. Uh, it's called the Restaurant Executive Mastery Podcast, and it's where you get to hear how top restaurant executives, founders, and leaders like Brian, who's on here, uh, bring transformational changes to the business. The show was created to help restaurant executives literally master their mindset uh, and find really inspirational ways to change their business from the top to the bottom. Okay, we give tactical solutions and examples that can really help move your needle. Again, the show is called Restaurant Executive Mastery. There's a link right there. It's rev.give slash podcast. I know you can't click on your screen, so it's in the chat. You can also go there later uh, and check that out if you want to check it out. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to talk about Instagram today and how to master your moves. Get a sip of water. Instagram turned 10 years old in 2020, okay? The percentage of U.S. adults in 2019, so this is the last year, who used, increase, uh, used Instagram actually increased by 2%, okay? It went from 35 to 37. The network is still growing, okay? There's about 116 million active users in the U.S., okay? That's a lot of people. Comparing Instagram to Facebook, the user demographic actually skews younger, Okay, it's owned by the same company, but Instagram skews younger. And more than half of the Instagram user population is younger than 34 years old. It's way younger than me. Uh, for U.S. teens, Instagram is actually the second most preferred app after Snapchat. Okay, and the average Instagram user, okay, is on the platform for almost an hour a day. Right now, this last one is what's super important for this audience. Okay, there's a lot of people on here. It's skewing younger. They're, they're using it a lot. Here's the thing that you want to note, okay? Food is the second most popular form of content on Instagram after fashion. Fashion's one, food is two, okay? According by some research by, by fan page Karma, okay? Consumers look at the content their friends and family are sharing from restaurants, and they also love looking at your food photos before they decide to come eat with you. 
If you are a restaurant marketing your business on social media, it is time to double down. No, no, no. It's actually time to triple down on Instagram. If you want to connect to a, a audience that skews younger, that is active and searching and looking at food, you need to up your Instagram efforts. And that is why we're doing this webinar today, because I want to bring important to how bring some attention to how important it is that we're using Instagram to promote our business. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Most people get frustrated with Instagram. I get frustrated, right? I'm sure you too. It can be a lot of fun, that's for sure. You know, when you have that uh, that one post that does like really well or customers walk into your door and they say, hey, I saw that thing you posted on Instagram and I want that. Or like when a really big influencer or media outlet posts about, uh, about your business, uh, those are like super great moments, right? They're really exciting. But the problem is they're few and far between, and it is really not enough to fuel the fire, okay? But don't we wish it was all as easy as it is and it looks for Frank at East Village Pizza, okay? Frank has 331,000 followers here. If you don't know Frank, a lot of people bring up Frank to me. Frank and I do some work together, right? He makes this look easier, right? He has crazy followers, and it feels like he is constantly in a state of going viral, constantly, okay? Well, that's because he is, okay? And that's because he does a number of things that we're going to show you today, okay? People think it's hard to grow a following. People think it's hard to get engagement. People think that, oh my God, I never know what to post next. We're going to smash that today, okay? If you implement the things that we're going to go into here in a moment, okay? If you start today, I will show you that it is not hard to grow a following. It is not hard to get engagement. And it really is. There are really easy ways to always know what to post. Okay. We're going to shatter these beliefs. You ready with me? I know you are. Okay. Let's rip into this. You're going to get five moves, five, one, two, three, four, five, that are going to take your Instagram game to Super Bowl champion status. Okay. You're going to learn how to optimize your Instagram efforts so that you can easily grow a local loyal following and generate more orders. And we're going to go through each one exactly. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to execute. You ready? I know you're ready. Let's go. Okay. What's this? It's a welcome mat. It's not, it is a rhetorical question as well, but this is a welcome mat. Literally. Why do we put this in front of our house? We do it to let people know that it's a friendly place and that they are gladly received. Okay. What's this? Okay, you're on the restaurant biz. Okay, why do we have servers? Okay, we do it to make guests feel comfortable and give them all that they need to start their experience. Okay, what's this? This is a knowledge card from my local pizza place. I talk about Farazilli's all the time. The grandma pie here, it's absolutely fantastic. It's like a vodka pie. It's a thin grandma. I love it. Okay, Google created knowledge cards so that you can get all the information that you need to be able to make a decision whether you want to eat here or not. And if you do, it makes the next steps really, really easy. Okay. Put all these three things together, the knowledge card, the welcome mat, and the server. Okay. And you have a friendly welcoming and all the information that you need to make the next step in your journey to dine with your restaurant. So what's tip one? What's, what's move one? A rock star bio. Okay. Okay. That's why you, the first thing you need to master with your A game on Instagram is what's in your bio. This is going to help you grow a following. Because why? You never get a second chance at a first impression. So you want to make sure that the first time someone comes to your Instagram account, that they have everything they need to take the next action, just like a Google My Business card, whether it's to follow you, to place an order, to send a message, to make a reservation, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now there's a few steps here. Okay. There are six elements of the perfect bio. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. The first one is a brand description. Consumers need to know who you are. They need to know what you do. They need to know why you do it. And most importantly, they need to know what you serve. Okay. It's hard to get that done in a couple of sentences. I know, I know, but you can do it. Okay. We got a bunch of Q and a here, the Google, God bless. Okay. Everybody's good. Awesome. All right. Questions are coming in. Okay. So number one, brand description. Number two, you need to include keywords. So your account is searchable on Instagram. The words that you put in your bio are searchable. So if I search for kebabs, right, it's likely that Pincho might come up. Okay. Here's the thing. Are you a sports bar? Right. Put that in your bio. Is your main item burgers? Put that in your bio. Are you a craft beer bar? Guess where that should go? In your bio. Okay. Number three, location details. 
People need to know where you are. If you have one location, list the address. Tell people exactly where you are. If you have a couple locations like Pincho here, list the towns that you're in. If you're a regional, if you're like all only in South Florida, put that, okay? If you're a big multi-unit chain, this is not necessary, right? But if you are not a big multi-unit chain, chances are you are not, you have to tell people where you are. It's super important that they have that piece of information. Number four, I'm amazed at how many people screw this one up. You need a link. We need somewhere to send our guests. If you're an independent operator and you're just trying to drive orders, put your online ordering in link there, okay? What, whatever that is, just drive them down the funnel. And you know, when you say link in bio to order now, send them, that's where you wanna go. You could also send them to the site where all of your things are. Um, you know, if there's a whole bunch of calls to action you're making, or you can use a tool like link.tree uh, or link in bio, which is, I, which is what I use. And you can have a whole bunch of important links in there, like ordering reservations, app download, all that kind of stuff. But the key is to have an actionable link in that bio and make it the step that you want them to take, okay? Some people like Pincho here, just send them to the website. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Pincho probably has a lot of stuff going on. I would opt for a link in bio or a link.tree. So all the most important call to action buttons are right there. Number five, okay, contact info. Why would you not include your email and phone number? Uh, assuming you take phone calls at your restaurant, but you should help people complete the journey, right? And some of these, you can even do booking your reservations. Make sure that that contact info is filled out and accurate and make sure it's an email you check. It burns my britches when a restaurant puts info at brandname.com and they don't check it. Duh. What if somebody wants to book a party? What if somebody has a question? Like put an email in there that you know you're going to check that somebody looks at. Okay. And last one, super important. Use a branded hashtag. Be sure your branded hashtag is in there. You typically, it's just the name of your business, right? For Pincho, it's hashtag Pincho, right? Or uh, AJ's Burgers. I think Alan is on here. Hashtag AJ's Burgers. Okay. This is typically the name of your business. It, you do this because you want to encourage your guests to use your hashtag. So it's easy for you to get all of the content on Instagram about you. And for people who are looking about you, they can just tap the hashtag. So put the hashtag in your bio that you are using. Super important. Guys, that's number one. We're feeling good? We're feeling good. Okay. The second move to mastering your A game on Instagram is CTAs or calls to action. Okay. If you want to generate more orders, this is it. Okay. You need to help customers along, uh, along the journey to dine with you or to place an order. What is it that you want them to do? Okay. After they see that amazing food photo or that you have, uh, you know, or if they've had a great time with you, you need to give them the instructions. You need a call to action. Could you imagine opening a box of Legos and not getting instructions? Okay. You would probably figure it out. Okay. You might, uh, but how hard would that be? It would be same thing. You need to tell your customers what they should do next. You need a call to action. Now, here's the thing. What's really special is that you need a mix of soft and hard calls to action. So what does that mean? Okay. A soft call to action. Here's an example from my boy, Dave Lindsay at Kingsbridge Social Club. By the way, if you're anywhere near the Bronx, you have to eat here. It's phenomenal. Okay. I love this place. Uh, a soft CTA is when the content that you post on Instagram is not about the call to action, but has a call to action in it. So this post is about the Instagram pie of the day. And it's talking about the pizza that's being made, the homemade mozzarella, the San Marzano tomatoes, Parmesan and basil on a pie. I just got crazy hungry. Okay. This post is about pizza. But if you look at the very end, he says, order on our website, link in bio. That is a soft call to action. Okay. The post is promoting the pizza of the week, but he didn't leave the customer journey hanging. He told them what to do. This is a soft CTA. And it is important that when you're posting food or things on your Instagram, that there is an obvious next step that you tell the people what it is. Okay. Everybody's got a soft CTA down. Let's move into hard CTA. Okay. A hard CTA is when the post is about the call to action. You want to promote catering. You want to promote online ordering. You want to promote download my app. You want to promote whatever it is, reservations. The post could be a picture of food, but the 
the text, the content is about an action you want them to take. And so we have this example from Five Napkin Burger. They're pushing their online delivery. Have no fear, we deliver. Hit the link in our bio and visit us at Five Napkin Burger slash order online. Okay, first order, 25% off your order placed directly through the site. The call to action here is hard. The call to action is the reason for the post. And now if you want to drive more orders or reservations or uh, app downloads or email signups, the key is that you have to have calls to action and you need a mix of soft and hard. And they don't necessarily need to be in every post, but I would tell you that one out of every three posts should be about online ordering. One out of every three posts should mention online ordering as a mix of soft and hard. So basically in nine posts, you would have one hard and two softs. That makes sense? Hard and soft CTAs got to have calls to action. Guys, boom. Now that you're a CTA champ, let's talk move number three. This will get you engagement. Okay. Do you know what a post, do you know what post and ghost means? I'm guessing you know what post and ghost means. That means when you upload some content to Instagram, share it with your audience and then close out of the app. Okay. That is not how you see what people are sharing. That is not how you learn what your guests are saying. That is not how you build a community, okay? If you wanna build a local following and you want people to see the content you upload, you have to engage your guests, okay? You have to show them that you care. You have to show them that you're listening. You have to show them the same hospitality you would in your dining room while they're on Instagram. Same mindset, okay? Otherwise, when you post and ghost, none of your guests will see your content. You will not grow a local following and your efforts on Instagram will be practically wasted. Nobody wants that, okay? Here's how to do it. When you go to Instagram, okay, it should not be just to share content, okay? You should have time in your day where you are going there to build a community and engage your guests. It's, you should have time to engage. Let your customers know that you're a part of their experience, okay? Let them know that you're listening. Okay, it doesn't matter if you're a mom and pop or a multi-unit chain, engaging guests creates warm fuzzies and a brand affinity. Okay, now here are some ways to engage that you should start doing today. Okay, because restaurants are a little bit like rock stars. Okay, imagine if you commented on your favorite musician's Instagram profile or shared something on Instagram about your favorite uh, sports hero and they replied to you, right? Or they shared your content to their, their, their stories. You would flip out. I would flip out. Britney Spears follows me on, on Twitter and I still talk about it, okay? Your guests will do the same when you engage their content, okay? This will actually encourage them to engage more and share more content about you. So here's the thing. Ask questions, ask questions in your content, ask questions in those other places. Reply to comments. When a guest comments on your content, reply to them, okay? Also check your DMs, see what people are saying to you. Reply to DMs, uh, boss move, hint, that actually also helps you in the, in the algorithm. It shows that you're active and paying attention. Share user generated content. So when you see customers are sharing really great photos or really great things on their Instagram, you can reshare them. And one of the easiest ways to do that is share to your stories, okay? And last one, you wanna comment on your tagged photos. Go into your profile, see where people have tagged you, okay? And make sure that you comment on those tagged photos, right? Engage other people's contents, do this. Ask questions, reply to comments, reply to DMs, share user-generated content, whether it's an influencer or a regular customer, okay? And comment on tagged photos. Look at this post from Garden Catering. This girl, Nicole, posted something. I forgot how amazing Garden Catering potato cones are. They are amazing. And the restaurant shared that to their Instagram. Again, this will encourage them to engage with you and more and more and more and more and share more content, okay? We're more than halfway through here, okay? Let's talk about number four. Dial in. I need a sip of water before this. Actually, I need a sip of coffee. This is exactly how you easily grow a local following. Posting to Instagram takes a lot of time. You have to think of what to post. You have to get the right photo. You got to edit a video. Then you have to write a caption. You got to pick out some hashtags and then you post it, right? And if you're following along, you know you have to engage. This is like a ton of work, right? It's a ton of work. That's also why a lot of restaurants don't do this. Or if they do, they do a poor job, okay? 
If you're a really big brand, you might even have to hire an agency to do it for you. Maybe you have an employee whose full-time responsibility is to create content uh, and manage your Instagram. I'm sorry, guys. What's up, Jack? Um, I wonder if my nose is in here. Okay, buddy. I'm, a, I'm on a webinar. Do you want to say hi to everybody? My son, Jack, is here to say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody, Jack. Is he here? That's the microphone. Say hello. Hello. Okay. Can I finish the webinar now? And I want something. I want my little phone. I want to know it's it. I don't know. Can I finish this, please, buddy? I'm on dad duty today, guys. Thank you for your patience. Okay, here's the deal. Okay. Uh, maybe you have an employee again whose full time responsibility is to create content and manage your Instagram account. Okay. The key is it's hard, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And even when you have done all of that, even when you've done all these things, it takes a lot of time to build a local audience. Typically, people do not follow a restaurant on Instagram unless they've already eaten there or they plan to do it. That means all that effort isn't even really good at get generating awareness, right? All that effort posting organically to your Instagram is good for retention. The people that see it are the people that are following with you and they either have had a brand experience or intended to, to, to eat with you. So it is not a great way to actually generate awareness. It's a great way for retention. So we're here to talk about awareness. How do you get awareness? How do you connect to people that live or work near you? How do you get them to find you when they are scrolling through Instagram? Well, you do that with advertising on Facebook, okay? And that's a whole level, a whole level up of difficulty is getting into ads, right? So how do you alleviate the difficulty of all this? How can you actually use Instagram to gain awareness? You automate it, okay? You automate your awareness on Instagram and what does that mean, okay? If you want to gain local awareness, dial in here, guys. If you want to gain local awareness, use Instagram advertising. It's a really affordable way to have your content flying around Instagram, okay, and popping up in the feeds of people that live or work near your stores and are interested in the type of food that you serve. For no joke, pennies and impression, pennies and impression, you can have ads do the work to help people discover your restaurant. And if you don't want to learn how to do ads on your own, or you just don't want to take the time to manage your ads account and don't want to shell out the big bucks for an agency, you automate your Instagram ads and you're already like, Rev, how do I do this? How do I automate my Instagram awareness? Okay, now you guys know that I like technology and I consider myself a tech evangelist. When I know tech that will work, uh, help you work smarter, go faster and achieve results, I'm going to make a suggestion that you use it you should check out Targetable, okay? It's incredible, I mean that sincerely. Targetable makes the headache of Instagram ads really, really easy, and the other thing is, it's really affordable, okay? It creates the ads for you, and all you have to do is go and make some small tweaks, like hours you want it to fly or whatever, maybe you change a hashtag. Maybe you don't want your ads running on a Friday night because you're busy, or you wanna optimize for clicks to your online ordering. You can't do that when you promote a post on Instagram, when you hit that little blue button, okay? It doesn't help, you can't have those types of, of, of flexibility, you can't have those types of goals, but you can do it with targetable, okay? I know lots of restaurants who only need like 20 or 30 minutes a week to manage their awareness ads using targetable, and they're only spending like 10 bucks a day on ads, okay? I don't know how much you pay like your dishwasher or your delivery person, but for 20 to 30 minutes a week and 10 bucks a day, it has to be a better use of your time and money to have Instagram ads generating you local awareness literally at every part of the day in a couple mile radius of your store, okay? Targetable takes your audience, your data, your content, and it creates the ads for you based on your goals, okay? If you wanna automate your local awareness marketing through Instagram so you can focus on other things, use targetable. Now, if you want an introduction to targetable, let me know. I'm happy to introduce you guys. Here's the thing about targetable. Okay. True story. It is custom built for restaurants, but I've actually used it to create my own ads. You log in, it generates the ads for you and you just tweak them. It's really, really, really easy. Okay. That's four. You guys want to move on? Okay. Take a sip of water here. You've got a killer bio. 
you're using CTAs, you're engaging with your guests, and now you've automated your local awareness. What's left? What is the fifth A-game move? You've got to vary up your content, okay? This will ensure that you are never asking the question, what should I post today? I don't know what to share. Follow along what, what we're about to get into, and I will show you how to make content planning for a restaurant ridiculously easy, okay? Let me ask you a question. Would you sit through an entire song if it was just a drum solo? Okay, all right. So maybe there are a few people out there who would probably enjoy a drum solo song, but likely it's not you and it isn't most of your guests. When you go to a restaurant's Instagram profile and all you see is just gratuitous food photos or worse, just the same item of food over and over and over and over and over and over, that's like a song that's just one note or it's all drum solos, okay? You're never going to get to the top of the charts with that song. How does that make you stand out from every other restaurant out there? It doesn't. You have to vary up your content, okay? Here's how it works. If all someone can see on your Instagram profile is your main food item, it won't draw them in, okay? It doesn't tell the whole story of your brand and your business. You want your content to sing a song. You want it to have a beginning and a verse and a chorus and a bridge and a huge crescendo, crescendo. Your top nine at all times should represent all the parts of your brand. You need a mix of food, not just your main item, okay? You need to make sure that you have a primary item, a secondary item, your specials, a guest experience, culture, and calls to action. What does that mean? Primary item is the thing that you're known for. So yes, if you're a pizza place, I'm not saying don't post pizza. You have to have pizza. If you're a salad joint, you have to have salad joint. Uh, salads. If you're a craft beer bar, I need to see craft beer. Of course, that's your main item. But what's your secondary item? What's the other thing you wish you sold more of? What's the other thing that your top 20% of guests really love, but you don't sell a ton of? What's the thing that all people are sharing pictures of that isn't your main item? That's your secondary item. And you should be posting about that too. So if it's pe if you're Frank, it's pizza and garlic knots, right? Frank and East Village Pizza. You also want to post your special. So again, we're still talking food here, but if you do like a limited time offer or you have a special for Mother's Day or whatever it is, you want to promote that too. So you have primary, secondary, and you have specials, okay? You want to get those. Then you. this is super key. This is where people start to get tripped up. You need to share the guest experience. What is it like to dine with you? What is it like to be a part of what you do? What is it part like to eat your food, to come to your store, to come to your event? A great way to do this is like a behind the scenes post. Uh, people making food, uh, servers greeting people, right? You, or, or I'm sorry, this is not, sorry, guest experience is, is not behind the scenes. Guest experience is what is the guest experience like? Culture is behind the scenes. We'll get to that in a second. I'm sorry. I'm a little excited. Okay. Guest experience is like, what is it like to dine with you? You could show uh, your delivery guy sending out a bag. You could show people sitting at a table. You could show people walking up to your restaurant. You can show the experience. You can show your dining room. You can show the storefront. Okay. Another great way to share guest experience, user generated content. If you've got people who are posting like pretty good images of themselves hanging out at your restaurant or eating your food, Share that, share that, let me see it. Let me experience the restaurant through a guest's eyes, not your eyes, okay? Now culture, this is the behind the scenes stuff, okay? People making food, people prepping orders, people putting things in bags, a team meeting. Maybe you guys are having an offsite and you're hanging out. Show us what it is like to be a part of your team and be a part of your culture. You can also show how you inspire culture and some of the things that you've learned from people, okay? And the last one we talked about this is calls to action. Some of your posts have to be about call to action. The idea is that when I see your top nine and that's the first moment I see you, you have to have all of these things, okay? You need to show what it's like to dine there. You want to show the customer experience. You want to show your culture, how you support your community, all of those things. Okay. Just like the, the whole Lincoln bio thing, you only get one chance at a first impression. So make sure that when people land on your Instagram, they get the entire brand experience. You feeling the energy here? I'm feeling the energy. I actually teach a class just on this. Okay. It's called the content calendar matrix. 
And if you're really good, you plan it out like this. This is actually the planner version I have of this. I have a planner, I can teach it to you and show you to you. It makes content planning really easy. When you know what your categories are, it's easy to look at a week and go, primary item, restaurant life, specials, <coughs> experience, secondary item, beverage, CTA, boom, suddenly I got four weeks of content and I don't even need to think about it. I know exactly what I'm gonna post on which day, okay? If you wanna know more about this, you wanna know more about my class and more about this planner, uh, join the private Facebook group, okay? I have an upcoming session on this and you'll love it. Uh, and as far as the, the private Facebook group, I sent you a link that today in the Zoom confirmation email or your inbox, wherever it is, and we'll talk about that again. Uh, the point is though, you have to vary your content. Five moves to master your A game, okay? You got to have a rock star bio with all the info that someone needs. Okay. I have an ebook on this that I can send you. Okay. You got to have calls to action to get your guests to take the action you want them to take. You have to engage with your customers generated content. Okay. You need to automate your awareness with ads. That's super key. You need to vary your content types. Okay. You have the examples. You do all of these things and you will be playing your A game. Your Instagram efforts will be much more effective. All right, I know you guys have some questions. Let's get to those, enter those into the Q&A. Not the chat, please put them in the q and I'm gonna get to the questions, okay? Because I know that I went fast here. I know I threw a lot at you. I said we'd be here for 30, 35 minutes. Uh, enter those Q&A. While you're entering the questions in the Q&A, uh, later today, once I get the video of this webinar uploaded, I'll send you an email so you can watch the replay. I don't want you to miss out on the stuff. The replay is going to happen in my private Facebook group. Okay. You are invited to be a part of it. There's no paywall or anything like that. It's totally free. Just join. Hold on. How can I help you, Jack? I'm not playing now. Okay, guys, I, I have to ask you, I'm very sorry. I'm on dad duty. Just give me 30 seconds to go start a, a show on Netflix. I will be right back. I'm very sorry. Thank you for your patience. One second, I'm coming right back. Okay, buddy. Guys, I'm coming right back. Thank you again for your patience. We have cartoons on Netflix and we're gonna answer these questions. So hopefully I gave you another minute to answer a question. Let's get pumped, okay? Again, replay will happen in my private Facebook group. I'll send you a link to that in the email later. You got a link to the private Facebook group earlier from Zoom. I also share insights and content that can help you master your business. That's where the replay of this webinar is. You get access to it all the time, okay? There will also be some training in that group around the content calendar matrix, uh, so join it. Okay, now, let me ask you a question. We're gonna take a sip of water here and a breath. This is important. We just spent 30 or so minutes together. I think it's been a really good experience. You even got to meet my kid, okay? We had a lot of fun. I taught you a whole bunch of cool things. I know we went really, really super fast and I threw a lot at you, okay? I know a way to make this much, much, much easier. And you kind of already know what it is. But I just wanna ask your permission. Are you okay if we take a minute to go deep on something that would make this a lot easier? Are you okay with that? I'm, I'm literally waiting for you guys to answer. Are you okay? Do I have your permission? Okay. Do I have your permission to go deeper and tell you a little bit how to make this easier? All right. Brian says yes. Nicole says yes. The yeses are coming in here. Uh, I assume that, that Nicole says yes. We're getting a whole bunch of yeses here. All right. I have your permissions. Thank you, Brittany. Okay. As always. <laughs> You know, I believe in tech that can accelerate your business. That is why I talk about the ones that work. You should check out Targetable. It will make your Instagram awareness efforts really easy. I've seen a lot of restaurants have success with this. They turn it on. It only takes a few minutes a week to manage and voila, you have ads targeting locals all the time, bringing them right into your online ordering. So we're going to launch a poll. Okay. We're going to launch a poll because I want to get your vibe. Okay, so everybody, please answer this poll. Do you want to learn more about Targetable? I'm going to wait because I asked for your permission and I want to know, you know, are you looking to automate your Instagram awareness now? And if you're like, Rev, I already use Targetable. Great. 
answer, give us that answer, Dar let people know, okay? Or are you using a really expensive agency because I can save you money there. You can save money there by using Targetable, okay? I, there, I'm literally gonna wait for every single person on this webinar to answer because I want to know. You sat through it, you got this far, I've given you a bunch of suggestions, where did this land? Do you wanna automate your Instagram awareness? Do you wanna make this super easy? Are you using an agency, okay? Or do you, you know, are you already using targetable? Okay, we got 62% of you have answered. I'm going to take a sip of coffee and wait. I assume that if you are on this webinar, that if you signed up for this, that you are an action taker, okay? That you are somebody who cares and that you are somebody who wants to take action and move to next steps. Now, we have almost 100% of you have participated and almost every single person has said yes, <laughs> or it's using an expensive agency. So killer, killer. That means that the people that you who are on this webinar are action takers. You're looking for success. You wanna to get to the next step. I'm super proud of you. Those are the people who I want to join me on these things and join these journeys, journeys is action takers like you. All right, guys, thank you for answering. I'm, I'm stoked that you got into that. I'm gonna share the results with you super quick. It looks like 73% of people are like Rev, Please, please, please help automate my Instagram awareness. I love that. And for those of you that are have an expensive agency, good for you. Good for you for being action takers, okay? You might want to have your agency look at this. Maybe it makes it easier and reduce your costs, okay? Here's the thing. Now, because you attended this webinar and because you stayed to the end and because you are a winner, okay, because you're here to play your A game, I got targetable to agree to give you one third off your first month. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Okay. All you have to do is say you're interested and you did, and I will get you in touch with someone there who can answer all of your questions about how it works. Okay. About how easy it is to automate your local awareness. Okay. You, because you're an action taker and said, yes, are going to get a third off the price for your first month. I will, I will put you in touch with somebody at targetable and you can get started on that. Okay. Now, I got to ask you a question. Now you get to ask me questions. So I already see some questions in the Q&A. We're gonna rip into all of them. If you have more or I bring up more, put them in the Q&A. If you put them in the chat, I'm probably not gonna see them, but put your questions in the Q&A and we'll get into them. And the last thing, okay, I promised you a special gift if you stayed to the end and here it is, okay? I have a brand new ebook out that I co-wrote with Donald Burns, the restaurant coach, with Doug Radke from KRG Hospitality and inspirational mindset coach, John Shaw. It is called the Extraordinary Restaurant Playbook. Each one of us wrote a chapter. Doug talks about systems that can make your restaurant more efficient. John teaches on how to have a winning mindset. Donald has a big section on how to have a great culture in your restaurant. And I wrote a big chapter on perfecting your customer journey from online to offline. Download this book today. It's free, okay? Take out your phone, take a picture of that QR code, open it up in the link. I give you permission to stop paying attention for a second, right? Or go to that link, rev.give slash leagues, okay? And download it right now. Here's the thing. Once you've downloaded the ebook, again, it's free. You're going to get a ton of value out of it. You also get four free bonus videos, one from each of us that talks deeper on the subject because you're here, you're an action taker. I want you to learn. Pop the QR code, go to the link. I'm going to leave this on the screen while we do Q&A, okay, so that you don't lose that and we can we can talk and, and chat and you can get that, uh, you can get, uh, ooh, we can do that, okay. We can do that when you, uh, you, you sorry, you can download the ebook while we're, while we're getting into the Q&A here. Uh, all right, let's see who is on the webinar. Let's see, whoops, sorry. All right, Alan, Amy, Brittany, Brian, Chris, Doug, Joe, Jamie, Julie, both Julias, New, Nicole, Rachel. Man, I can't even say all these names. All right, questions. Let's get into this. Alan is asking, how young is the biggest demographic? Uh, I don't have that data, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, that Instagram skews 23 to 34. I think that's the majority of it. So it's definitely younger people, okay? Uh, uh, Google Home Blue Box order pickup. How is that done? 
Um, that has nothing to do with your Instagram bio, Alan, but I said I would answer. So when you go to Google My Business and you see that blue order now button, you don't control that. Google controls that. Um, there is some stuff that you can do to have those buttons removed. Uh, and we talked about that in the boot camp yesterday, which you're part of, Alan. There's a post in the boot camp that tells you how to change that. So check those out. Uh, Alan, you're right. Jack doesn't eat a burger, but you laugh. Jack doesn't like buns and he doesn't like cheese on his burger. He only eats the patty, uh, but he's more of a hot dog guy. Okay. He's Jersey. Okay. And Alan said, that, Alan, I love how I love you. Alan says he loves, 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 loves targetable. Alan is an advocate. Alan's using it and he thinks it's awesome. All right. God bless. Uh, Alan, thank you for all the questions. Nicole, we are a multi-unit company with both corporate and franchise locations. How do we do a rock star bio, particularly around location details? We want customers to find us. Okay, so all the tips that I gave you, do those things. Do all of those as far as the location. Uh, and I'd have to go look at where you're at. But if you're mainly in one part of, of if you're mainly in one part of the country or, or based in, in a particular state, you could say based in state, based in town. But if you literally have 30, 40, 50 locations, look where you're located isn't super important. It becomes less important at that part, okay? People kind of know that you're multi lunar but you could say based in, right? So that's how you would do that. Uh, <laughs> Alan, thank you again. We'll, I guess Jack needs to be in more webinars, cool. Uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll try to work Jack into some more webinars. Okay, Doug is asking about geolocation and geofencing. Uh, and I'm familiar with a company named Board Active. They work with Instagram and they work well. Um, I am not well versed in geofencing. This is something I'm going to look into. So, Doug, thank you for sharing that. Uh, if, if anybody has uh, some thoughts on that, share it with me. I'm just not well versed, but I would love to learn more. Okay, uh, Targetable is the single most profitable thing I did that you've suggested in the last six weeks. Uh, amen. It's working for you. Everybody else here that said, yes, you're going to get an intro and you're going to save 33% off your first, uh, your, your first month. So that's good. Uh, here's another question about geofencing. Again, I'm just not well-versed. My man, Brian, our IG story highlight tabs, an important part of an IG strategy. If so, what's the best use of those tabs? Brian, that's actually a great question is how to use IG uh, Instagram story highlight tabs is an important part of the strategy. I think it is. Okay. And I, if I go into an Instagram profile and I tap into their first couple of highlight reels and nothing's been updated in like a hundred weeks, I'm not going to watch the rest of them. Right. So you can use those highlights to help uh, define the customer journey. You can actually use it for the content tabs, primary item, secondary item, guest experience. Don't call it that. But you can say, you know, orders, you can say reservations, you can say parties, you can use the highlights to either give people next steps or show them a bit more about their culture and user generated content. You can have one that says favorite customers, and it's just a highlight of all the customers. It's a thank you piece. People might not even click through that one, but they'll post in hopes that you add them to it, right? So yes, IG highlight stories is like, that's, that's, that's moves six through 10. That was a great question. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that very much. Nicole, if we can do without Target, would there be a larger budget for the ads? Um, listen, Instagram ads are super, super important and a super huge way to draw awareness. The reason I like targetable is it's cheap, it's easy, and it's effective. If you have a really complex need and a really complex strategy, then yes, you should have somebody internal who manages your ads or work with an agency. I absolutely advocate that. I would rather though, if it was me, and you can go Google this, go Google Nathan's Famous, the hot dog place and, and targetable. And they generated something like awareness from 400,000 people within a, a three mile radius of each of their stores using targetable. It's, it's incredible. I know it, it sounds like I'm pushing this on you, but I've seen how incredible this thing is. I'm pushing it on you because you're an action taker. But Nicole, if you want to get a little deeper in that conversation, you know how to get to me. All right, next question. Joe Madonna. Joe, what's up, buddy? Thank you for coming back. Is Targetable a subscription service? That's a great question. It is. However, it's only a month-to-month -month agreement. So if you turn it on for a month and it doesn't do what you want it to do, uh, I would guess you probably didn't manage it the way you should. But yes, you could just say, hey, we don't need this anymore. Or if you close a store, you know, you could say, well, we don't need it for this store anymore, or you, you know, you need to pivot in your business. But yes, it's a subscription service, but it's on a month to month. So 
there's really no there's really no risk there and uh there we go and last question nicole oh you're very welcome nicole thank you guys i told you 30 35 minutes it has actually been 45 because he had so many questions uh i'm super grateful if nobody else has any questions we're going to wrap this up I can't believe how many people were on here. Uh, just, I'm going to roll through these quick. Amy, Alan, Brittany, Brian, Chris, Doug, Jamie, Joe, Julia, Julie, Matt, Nicole, Rachel, Sarah. I, I can't even get through all these people. Uh, and, and my son, Jack. Uh, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed Jack. Thank you so much for being here. Please, 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 please go download the Extraordinary Restaurant Playbook. It's free, rev.give slash league. Uh, check out Targetable. If you said yes, you will get an introduction to Targetable. I will make sure that you can ask them all the questions you have and figure out how to automate your awareness ads. Make all five moves of these today. Guys, thank you for being here. I love people who are action takers. I love people who are trying to make a, a big lift in their business. It, it, I do this for you. So guys, thank you and make it a great tasty day.